Hello, I'm Abhishek, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Sometimes customers ask me how can they configure a Route 53 resolver outbound endpoint to resolve DNS records hosted on the remote network from resources in their VPC. So today, I'll show you the method. Let's get started. I'm already signed into my AWS management console. Now, I'll navigate to the Route 53 console Choose outbound endpoints from the navigation pane. Choose the region where you want to create the outbound endpoint using the navigation bar. Choose create outbound endpoint from the outbound endpoint dashboard. To configure the general settings for the outbound endpoint, specify a friendly name to describe the outbound endpoint. Let's choose the VPC where we want to create the outbound endpoint. Now, let's go ahead and select a security group for the outbound endpoint. The security group should allow outbound TCP and UDP connectivity to the IP addresses and the ports that the DNS resolvers in our remote network use for DNS queries. As part of the IP addresses settings for the outbound endpoint, select two subnets in two different availability zones. After selection, the resolver service creates elastic network interfaces for the outbound endpoint in these subnets. Unlike my choice, you can select multiple subnets all in the same zone. But to maximize redundancy, it is a best practice to select subnets in at least two different availability zones. These two subnets should have a route in the subnet routing tables to our remote network via AWS Direct Connect, VPN connection, or a NAT gateway. Another thing to keep in mind is that the network ACLs corresponding to these two subnets allow both UDP and TCP traffic to the IP addresses and on destination ports being used by DNS resolvers on our remote network and from the DNS resolvers on destination port range 1024 to 65535. By selecting Use an IP address that is selected automatically for both subnets, we let the resolver service assign a private IP address to the interfaces from the available IP addresses in the respective subnets. You can optionally choose to specify IP addresses yourself. Although optional, let's tag the outbound endpoint with a key and a value. Now, let's configure a resolver rule. From the Route 53 console, choose Rules from the navigation pane. Choose the region where the outbound endpoint was configured from the navigation bar. From the rule dashboard, choose create rule. To configure the rule for outbound traffic, specify a friendly name to describe the rule. For rule type, choose forward. This enables the resolver to forward DNS queries that match this rule. Specify the domain name example.com as this is the domain that I want the resolver to forward DNS queries to in the remote network. Keep in mind that DNS queries for example.com or any of its subdomains will all match this rule. Choose the VPC where we want the Amazon EC2 instances to send DNS queries to in the remote network. Finally, select the outbound endpoint that we just created using the outbound endpoint ID. To configure the target IP addresses, Specify the IP addresses and ports that DNS resolvers on the remote network are using. Queries matching this rule will be forwarded by the VPC DNS resolver to the outbound endpoint referenced in this rule, which in turn will forward them to these target IP addresses on the target ports. Although optional, let's tag the rule with a key and a value. Now let's use SSH to connect into one of the EC2 instances and perform DNS resolution and see if the outbound endpoint is performing as expected. As this EC2 instance is running on Linux, I can use dig, then specify the record name and record type. If your EC2 instances are running Windows, you can use nslookup instead of dig. It looks like the DNS record test.example.com is resolving correctly to the IPv4 address 192.168.1.10. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.